Hey, what's going on guys? Eric here with uh, Launch Vans and uh, EM Motors. Just wanted to do a uh, quick walk around video of uh, one of our uh, most recent builds here. Uh, getting ready to come out of the shop. Just up here at, uh, at 8th Street, um, the top of Boise here to give it a shakedown, lots of washboard, get the suspension broken in, retorque it, all that kind of stuff, find any weak, weak points potential. Uh, before the customer takes the van, but uh, anyway, this one's a, a <laughs> my favorite yet. I probably always say that, but uh, this is a sweet van. Um, it's a uh, 2021, or no, 2020, 170 regular length, four wheel drive. Um, started as a cargo van, so just completely empty. Nicely loaded from the factory. That's the way we like to to uh, bring our vans in for you. Um, but uh, yeah, this one's. This one's pretty well decked out. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, the hammerhead bumper from uh, CA Tuned Off-Road with a wireless and wired winch, 12,000 pounds, so it'll get you out of trouble, move some debris or trees or whatever may be in your path. And we have uh, Baja Designs LP6s in amber um, on the front there. We also have uh, Black Rhino uh, Arsenal wheels in 17 inch and the BF Goodrich KO2 all terrain tires, 275 7017s. And uh, we have Van Compass's uh, Falcon adjustable shocks here, make a huge improvement on the ride. You can change those, uh, to stiffen them up for highway and and that type of driving, or soften them up for for a nasty washboard like I like I experienced today. So, um, but on the on top we have uh, Flatline uh, Van Company's uh, low profile roof rack. Uh, we like to use that mainly because uh, the ease of placement of the crossbars to put them around. This one has two max air fans on the on the roof, a 12 volt air conditioning for nomadic cooling, uh, solar. You know, so that roof rack uh, uh, allows us to to easily place uh, things where they need to be up on the roof. And then, as you can see, it has a Fiamma F80S uh, awning, 13 footer, on this 170. Uh, we have the Terra Wagon uh, hood armor on the front. We have their uh, fender armor, and we have their Mondo mud guards uh, to open up the wheel well for the bigger tires. Um, that works out really good. We have some Laverne steps, uh, the, their grip steps. And uh, let's see here what else we got on the back here. We have Alvan, uh, Vans Engineering gear. We have their Sherpa rack with their, uh, their uh, what is that? Their, uh, duh, uh, it's their large box expedition. Expedition box is what I was looking for. And then we have a ladder tire carrier on this side so you can climb up the rear um, if you want to along with uh, uh, a luminous ladder and surf pole with uh, uh, to accommodate uh, you know a sup board or whatever you may have there that you want to mount um, we have shore power so on all our builds we like to to be able to charge off a of shore power when you plug in at your house or at a anywhere at an RV park wherever you may be we also like to charge off the alternator and then we like to have solar coming in as well so um, three different ways that we're bringing in power to the system we like to stick with uh, lithium batteries in this build uh, because of the 12 volt air conditioning uh, we recommend a, a minimum of 600 amp hours at 12 volts so we have 600 amp hours of lithium a 3000 watt Victron energy inverter and then of course Victron's uh, uh, all their gear whether it's the Orion for alternator charging and isolation or uh, and or the solar controller um, the, the shunt all that good stuff so uh, just let me know if you have any questions about any of that gear that we put on in more depth but uh, anyway sweet van let me uh, well we do have the, the Val van compasses suspension this is the Falcon 4. Point, stage 4.3 which includes the mini leaf pack, which is plenty for for this type of a build. Um, 
if it gets so if it gets really heavy then you can put a full leaf uh, replacement from agile uh, so but most fans don't need that and then uh, this is just the roof currently I think we're gonna end up putting a, a Baja design light bar on there customer still undecided but there's the solar up front nomadics AC and then uh, rear fan so you can kind of see how that is and we can uh, add more solar if needed but to get around 300 watts it seems to be sufficient for most people um, during the summertime but anyway let's check it out inside So we love to, uh, I mean, this is probably my favorite galley placement here. So you can put the drop down table, do some cooking or just hanging out with your drinks here uh, outside under the awning. Uh, we always put uh, some scene lights uh, around the vehicle so you can see at night really well. And then we also, we like the isotherm 130 drawer uh, unit. So it's a, a good size fridge so you can kind of you know live out of the van if you wanted to for longer periods of time good size freezer um, there but you can access it from inside or out which is nice um, so we I really like the placement of that outlets for charging um, shower ports so you have your mixer and your shower nozzle you can set up a temporary shower inside here um, which is what I do in my van uh, so you don't take up the full space but yeah you get some pretty good water pressure I mean you could rinse your bikes off here in the on the side of the van or we have uh, um, another some more of these ports in the back so that's probably what you'll use a little bit more often but uh, super nice uh, sw factory swivels are, are awesome make uh, the living space a lot more usable again when you're really using the van quite a bit um, S-Bar diesel heater, sips on fuel and keeps the van nice and toasty in the colder seasons. We have Shuxon's uh, overhead shelf. We love their shelf here. We have Explorer Outfitters shades. Um, have the Element uh, fire extinguisher that we put in all our vans. And uh, we have some T-Vent windows on, the, on these ones with the Peekaboo uh, guard. So a so, uh, little, little theft deterrent there. But uh, van's nicely loaded, as you can see. It's got pretty much every option. Um, lagoon table mount and butcher block milled down. Uh, works good so you can, you know, work uh, or eat here from the front. And then you also have your lounge. Uh, that you can swing it over and, and uh, use there. But just give you a perspective of everything. So again, butcher block, countertop turned out well. It has a kind of a weathered stain. Um, Ravati sink with again a milled down butcher block uh, uh, piece here. Uh, induction cooktop. We try to keep uh, propane out of the out of the picture, so we have electric uh, induction cooktop. Again, butcher blocks milled down uh, to accommodate and just have a nice flat surface. Uh, stainless steel uh, backing, magnetic knife holder, plenty of outlets for uh, anything you may need to plug in here. You can add a TV. It's got some HDMI ports that come down into the cabinet behind me. A little spice cabinet here uh, for some stuff. We like to do a soft bag in the rear. Um, a lot easier on your on your head. Plus, you can get a lot more stuff into it. 10 by 33 awning windows. Light switches in the rear control the lights in case you forget to turn them uh, off before you go to bed. Um, and then, yeah, these ones uh, just a more industrial type of cabinet with some lighting above it. This customer wanted a microwave, so we got that happening. And we have the control panel here um, S bar, color control GX, monitoring all your systems, uh, seeing what's going on there breakers for your water heater and your outlets and all your fuses 
little cubby so you can store some stuff in there if you want to. And then HDMI, some more plugins so you can stick your phone or electronics in here. Um, anyway, those turned out well. Uh, microwave, I told that. So again, more outlets on this side here. Uh, got some nice drawers. So plenty of storage in this one. Oops, we left our grill in there. So lots of storage all over the place here. Big drawer here. And uh, this one we have, whoops. It's a little bit of an adjustment. There we go. So this comes out. Have your toilet. Just slide that bad boy out. And we like the uh, dry flush um, by Laveo. Has a cartridge, wraps the waste into bags, keeps the smell out, disposable, dispose of it in the garbage. I don't know if you remember the diaper genie back in the day. <laughs> Similar. Uh, and then what do we got here? Just a big cabinet here under the sink. Uh, the customer I think was gonna do something there. And then just a little tilt out for your dish soap and sponges and things of that nature. Um, six inch mattress that uh, we make in house. Again, nomadic AC. Uh, to keep keep it cool when it gets toasty and we do have our uh, accessed you know so if you ever have fuses that pop breakers that you got to shut off to service something it's all right here easy accessible lids come off so if we need to get the stuff we can and then we have our water tank level indicator shake the van you can kind of see it it's backlit. Got a little storage above um, the boxes so you can throw gear up there. But yeah, super sweet. Turned out good. Let me go out to the garage, give you a look there. So, stuff bags, super nice and handy. Loading lights at night, super important end up hitting hitting or come arriving to camp spots uh, late it's nice to have those lights um, again plenty of outlets uh, for whatever you may need uh, to power more light switches and then here's the uh, water fill and then your port uh, for the rear shower so this just plugs in here uh, maybe yeah take your shower rinse your bike gear off um, works awesome B beds uh, set to the height to accommodate uh, mountain bikes with their front tire off in a in a fork mount um, so you can always lower the bed or well I don't know if you'd want to raise it for anything but you could if you needed to um, but yeah it's just a look again uh, gear, suitcases, whatever you need to strap down. We have l track um, so you can kind of strap those down securely. And then uh, just kind of the back view. Screens, super nice, uh, so you can keep the doors open, keep the bugs out. Outlets, again, for phones and your electronics. Explore Outfitter uh, covers, of course. Let's see here. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, can't think if I missed anything, but if I did, uh, shoot us a message or put a comment in the description or uh, under here and I can answer it. Uh, or you could always reach out to us. Uh, our website for launch vans is launchvans.com. Uh, the dealership side, uh, so if you're looking for an empty van, that you can build, have us build, whether it's a minimal build or a, or an elaborate build, um, you can visit emmotorsboise.com. Uh, so check that out. And then our YouTube channel is under emmotorsboise. 
on Instagram, EM Motors Boise, and Launch Vans as well. So uh, reach out to us, let us know what you think. If you have any questions, if you want us to build a van uh, for you, if you want to, uh, you know, purchase a van uh, that's maybe already up there. We have a bunch of used 4x4s. We really focus on the four-wheel drive Sprinter, but we have some all-wheel drive Transits and and uh, used 4x4 Sprinters. So appreciate you guys uh, taking a look. Um, yeah, I don't think I missed much, but uh, if I did, hit us up. I'm gonna drop in here, go for a ride as, uh, as usual. There's a little smoky Boise here. But appreciate you guys uh, taking a look and uh, we'll talk to you soon.